What's up guys, Matt from footballboots.co.uk and today we have a very exciting video as we'll be unboxing the all new Glitch Football Boot Innovation by Adidas. The Glitch itself has several different inner and outer styles and colourways so stay tuned throughout the entire video to see the stunning collection Adidas have sent us. Adidas Football have marketed their Glitch to revolutionise the boot market through providing players with ultimate fit, stuff configuration and colourway customisation. So what we'll be unboxing, explaining and getting on feet in this video are three varying colourways and cut of inner boot and three of arguably the best outer skin colourways which we'll be running through all the differences and features later on in the video. First up, let's check out the inner boots which acts as the base for the all new glitch. The first thing you'll notice is how they're constructed from Adidas's trademark tech fit material and possesses a very similar silhouette to the Colour Pure Chaos and Pure Agility silos. But let's take a closer look. And apart from the overall compressive and elasticated inner boot for a true sock-like fit, Adidas have also introduced four-way strength technology seen by the webbed external structure, which not only ensures a level of beneficial flexibility, but reinforces the bonding of soft fabricated materials. So before we get into how the inner boot actually works, what colours and collar heights are there? Well, there's four different colours, including black-red, white-black, blue-red, and also an orange-black, which is the only pair we don't have in this video. So apart from the various colours, the inner boots also come available in two opposing collar heights. Players wanting the most sock-like fit will go for the higher cut tech fit collar on the predominantly blue and red pairs, whilst if you prefer the standard height like myself, then the predominantly black and white pairs are the option to go for. So switching our attention from the outside of the inner boot to what's going on internally, and this is where the glitch innovation really takes off. Uniquely, the actual sole plate of the glitch are found on the inner boot instead of the exterior like the majority of football boots. So all the important rigidity actually comes from within. One of the main features and also arguably the most prominent of the new glitch is when you flip the inner boot over and see the combination of underfoot anti-slip technology on the forefoot, whilst the midfoot and heel expose six shallow studs to actually lock into the outer boot for added responsiveness and look down, which we'll show and explain later in the video. Now before moving on to the outer boots, where did the Adidas glitch even come from? Well after years of designing and testing, the glitch was first leaked on the internet and had boot enthusiasts incredibly excited and also unsure of what they actually were. Young Chelsea player Charlie Colkitt was a selected player by Adidas to wear the glitch and he was actually spotted in the two-piece boots when on pitch for his lone club of Bristol Rovers. Charlie Colkitt was seen wearing the unique black and white slash outer skin, but Adidas have now released several different colours, which you'll see in our video and appeal to all player taste in terms of colourway and materials used. With the Adidas Glitch app now ready and made live for iOS users, the only way you can get your hands on a pair is by downloading the app and also acquiring a unique code which were given to select players, most notably from the Tango League in London. So although the Glitch is only available in London at the moment, Adidas have reported that they'll be releasing their Glitch European and also worldwide in the future. So putting aside the inner boots and bringing in the outer skin, this is where the Glitch really comes into its own. The most notable feature of the Glitch is its lack of laces. And in all fairness, they look incredibly similar to the X16 Plus Pure Chaos, which prefers to hide its laces through a pure cut cover. The four outer skins which Adidas offer at the moment are split into two families. Three are constructed from an incredibly thin synthetic upper, coming in red, reflective white or multicolored colorways, and one partially leather upper labeled reptile skin, which comes in a black and orange paint job. Now, as previously stated, the most unique part of the glitch as a whole has to be the fact that the chassis, which works as the boot's overall plate, is found within the two-part boot instead of on the outer skin, which results in the upper being incredibly flexible and conform to each player's foot. For any of you guys watching this video that are either in your mid-twenties or are just general boot enthusiasts, then you'll probably remember a similar Adidas product from the past. The idea behind the glitch and what Adidas have said about their latest innovation was to allow for players to express themselves through being able to choose alternative inner boot colour and fit, outer skin colourways and design, and also whether the playing surface requires an FG or SG stud configuration. Think Adidas F50 tunics released back in 2006, but raised the bar tenfold. So mentioning FG and SG stud configurations, what does the Adidas glitch offer for sole plate variations? Before we get into the difference in stud configurations, 
One of my favourite features of the Glitch is the iridescent finish given to its sole plate, which looks incredibly premium and modern. Whilst the white upper features the most subtle iridescent effect on its outsole, the red and black pairs really allow for the sole plate to capture the eye, which actually uses a similar construction to the first generation X15.1 labelled X-Claw, however features teardrop shaped FG studs. Apart from the FG pairs which we have here today, Adidas also offer their Glitch and the SG sole plate, which will probably be the best choice with wet winter pitches coming and also Adidas allow their SG studs to be interchanged with FG alternatives. So at this stage we've checked out each inner boost colorway and height and also the different outer skins colors and uppers. But which two part combo would you personally choose? Vote on our poll card now. But how do the glitch boots actually fit and feel? Well the first thing you'll need to do is actually put the glitch on and there's a couple different techniques to do this. Whether it be piecing the two boots together in hand and then using the shoehorn to slide them on, or slipping on the inner boot first and then wrapping the outer skin around them afterwards. The glitch really feels great when on feet, very thin, soft, flexible and most importantly locked in. Given the option, I'd personally opt for the low cut white inner boot combined with the reflective white outer skin. The combo looks ultra slick. If you're interested in the glitch, then Adidas offer their starter pack, which allows you to choose from one inner and two outers, so the choice really is up to you, which is essentially what the glitch is all about, your taste and your preferences. With the upper of each glitch featuring an all over reptile like print, glitch branding on the top portion, and Adidas's three stripes on the lateral side panel, the one thing you can expect from the new innovation is a very snug, wrapped and tight fit, which is something that I definitely look for in a boot. So guys, that pretty much wraps up our overall Glitch video. Let us know in the comments section below your own thoughts and preferences on the Glitch. Thanks for watching. Cheers.